What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. For my second scouting report, I'm going to do Chicago Steel winger Sean Farrell. The Steel of the season were stacked and were undoubtedly the best team in USHL. They had players like Brendan Brisson, Sam Colangelo, Matthew D. St. Fowl, Owen Power, Gunnar Wolf Fontaine, and most importantly, Sean Farrell. Farrell had a great season, putting up almost an assist per game. He's an undersized forward at 5'9", and unsurprisingly, that'll likely push him back come draft day, even if he is more physically mature than most forwards at his size. In the clips, you'll be looking at number 21. In terms of his offensive tools, specifically his shot and hands, Farrell isn't necessarily elite, but more than gets the job done. He has the ability to beat goalies from in tight and can pick corners with a high level of accuracy. He also generally picks good spots to shoot the puck and doesn't force a shot from far out too often. His one-timer, while not nearly as deadly as his line mate Brendan Bersan's, is very much lethal in its own right. Farrell's high energy game lives and breathes through his high end skating ability. He uses his great edge work to protect the puck and make quick cuts away from defenders. He's very agile, which allows him to carve his way into high danger areas with ease. He can often be seen flying around the offensive zone, which in many cases leads to defensive breakdowns that Farrell exploits to give a teammate a grade A chance. His straight line speed is just as impressive. He can dump a puck in and easily beat a defender to regain possession. His defensive play is aided greatly by his skating ability, in that it allows him to continuously pressure opponents, as well as exit the defensive zone quickly with his great acceleration and speed. As I said in Daniel Gushchin's report, undersized players need to be high-end skaters in order to succeed, and thankfully for Sean Farrell, he is also an exceptional skater. There are times though when his play gets a little too chaotic, where he tries to do too much, and maybe skates his way into trouble, but there's plenty of time from the work this out of his game to iron that out, so I'm not too worried about that. Farrell is absolutely relentless in all three zones. Whether it's on the penalty kill, the power play, or even strength, he absolutely wants his team to have possession. He has a good stick and can strip opponents well to gain possession without taking a penalty. Generally speaking, his position on the penalty kill and at 5 on 5 is great. He clogs up passing lanes and keeps the pressure up on his opponents. His constant high energy will definitely help him as an undersized forward at the next level, considering he won't have to rely solely on skill. He definitely served as a jack of all trades for Chicago this year, and I could see that being his role moving forward at the next level.
At 5'9", Sean Farrell is definitely on the shorter side. For the most part, this hasn't been much of an issue for him, but there have been many times where he would get knocked off the puck, cancelled into the boards, or completely knocked down in open ice. Like I said in Gooschin's report, this is just a reality for shorter players in pro hockey. Throughout the season, Farrell showed great chemistry with linemate and fellow 2020 draft prospect Brennan Brisson. They always seemed to be on the same page, with Farrell setting up Brisson for countless one-timers. But even when Brisson wasn't Farrell's linemate, Farrell showed a high level of intelligence and understanding of where his teammates were on the ice. His passing ability is overall very impressive. He served as a quarterback on the power play on multiple occasions because of his ability to distribute the puck effectively. As I said before, his skating also allows for more passing lanes to open up, and with his passing ability he takes advantage of that by threading the needle to teammates for high danger chances. You don't get almost an assist per game for nothing. Farrell really doesn't need much of a lane to make a pass work. Overall, Sean Farrell has all the tools to be a versatile, high-energy middle six winger. It is to be seen, though, if he can overcome his size limitations. I personally believe he can get there, and would definitely take a look at picking him as early as the second round of the upcoming draft. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and let me know who in the comments you would like me to scout next from either the USHL or the USNTDP. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.